trust. Mean taking no loss. We be the hottest on the scene. Jams thrown from the dust. Big dog with the leash. Where's the love in the streets? For my heart gonna beat. See that blood on my sheets. Yeah, when we ready. Me hit it heavy. I zoom out the pride of my people already. Tell my to Ellie. Me, I'm just sharing my journey. I'm thankful that people they hear me. Tribe of Joseph, I'm ahead of the bunch. P5, I was stabbing for months. A brownie cut team, both of my packets. Me need my DNA. Baby, for lunch, probably call me a star before BBC. Don't take a lot to get rid of me. Me and them don't get the same. Me and them don't get the same. Yo, Andy, I want to get involved in community outreach a little more. You think you can help set me up with some opportunities? Absolutely. You know, I think it's great when guys who are new to the organization are eager to get involved. It is such a great way to build a relationship with our fans. That's exactly what I want to do. The fans have been awesome from day one, and I really want to give back. Well, that's fantastic. I'll definitely make sure to get you all that information. That way, you could get some opportunities beyond what you're doing with the entire team. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you, Andy. My pleasure. It's what I do. And hey, who knows? Maybe a Walter Payton Man of the Year nomination is in your future. Hmm, that would be an honor, but right now, I just want to find a way to make a difference off the field. All right, this is it, the gold standard. We are going for gold.
woke up in me. I've been going crazy. I've been doing my thing. They not ready for me. Y'all been playing with me. No time for the silly games, 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 games. Damn it really must be so intimidating. But I gotta be great. That's the God up in me. Whoa, yeah. Cooking out the basement, and this game needs some saving. And I'm ready for the action, cause I'm tired of the acting. What happened to being great? What happened to being fast to be late? What happened to rocking shows? What happened to spitting flows? Been wearing the cons and the pros. Feel like I'm the only pro. If we gon' go, then go. We can take it toe to toe. I've been doing everything you've been doing, but I'm really doing more. I'm about to explode. You gon' need someone to hold, hold, hold me. They cannot hold me, yeah. Slowly, ain't no more taking it slowly, yeah. Holy, you're dealing with something that's holy, yeah. Hold me, I need somebody to hold me. Nothing's for certain, but this I know. Life is but moments that come and go. Tonight, from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, it's week three of the NFL preseason on EA Sports. Colts taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's a preseason matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Indianapolis Colts. their fifth-year quarterback. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Now last year's leading rusher in the NFL, this is Jonathan Taylor. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll set up a throw. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Back to throw. Pressure too much. Down he goes. Joe Tryon Shoyinka showcasing the pass rush. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. 
Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Looking to throw. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They give to Taylor out of the gun. Room here to run. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 34. Now back to throw. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Good work there on that completion. You know, once we made the move, Charles, from four preseason games down to three, kind of tougher to know how to handle these games as a coaching staff. And they've decided they want at least some of their starters out there. They said probably got a man. It's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts' touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts have answered that early field goal to take a first-quarter lead. And he moved left there, Charles. Little danger play. He didn't throw toward that left side, went over the middle, got the six, though. Yeah, he seems like the type of guy that when you told him as a kid, don't touch the stove because it might be hot, he touched it anyway. And this one, he got away without getting burned. quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He'll find Paris Campbell, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Great way to convert on third down there, 21 yards the play. And I know this is a quarterback who's looking forward to week one. He's gonna get a chance here, barring injury, to be their starter and to go into a season in the number one spot for the first time in his career. But he's put the work in over his first four years in the league and he feels like this is his time. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll check this one down to Taylor. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. 
The play action fake. They'll look to throw. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, he's certainly trying to earn his win with some more looks in the offense once the regular season heats up. If he continues to make plays like that, I think QB1 will look his way a little more often once the regular season begins. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They'll look to throw again. Steps away to his left. That ball caught by Campbell. Touchdown! Paris Campbell, a 24-yard touchdown as his guys are able to extend their lead. Oh, that's a great throw right there, and this is why this organization felt like they could sign him in the offseason and give him the keys to the offense. His decision-making has been top-notch, and they're hoping to see a lot of these when the season officially gets underway. leading this offense back out. He's thrown touchdown passes on his last two drives as he begins here, first and 10. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he'll be upended at the 18. That's a very helpful pickup of nine after the play began at the nine. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher, a really nice run. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll look to throw here. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Now a pass, and it's complete to QT. A good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They'll drop to throw. Shifts by him, and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed, and then some, and made that snap a huge success. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. He'll look to throw. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Hits his target to tight end, Mo Alley Cox. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 37. Play action. They'll throw. Rolling to his right. Able to slither by. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. 
Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Back to throw here. Flushed out right. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Colts go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. So three drives, three touchdowns, and they're a PAT from going up 21 to three. And there's no doubt in my mind, you're liking what you're seeing so far, aren't you? That's unbelievable. Like yeah. a well-oiled machine, if you will. What's really tough, though, that defense, they're leaping the shadows at this point. They don't know which way to go. They're being hit in every direction, and they have no answers thus far. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And he's been good. Two first half touchdowns. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Campbell. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. They'll set up to throw. Forced out to his left. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he's been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there. Second down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Got an open man. That's Campbell. Touchdown, Colts. Paris Campbell ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. Well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. Out is their quarterback with his offense to take over once more. He's already a captain. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the 10. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll make it second down. He'll drop to throw. And now this one may draw a penalty. He just blindly threw that one to the sideline. And yep, indeed, the flag is out. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. A reminder, opening weekend definitely in sight now. Thursday, September 8th, that's when it all gets going. The defending champs, L.A. Rams, hosting the team that many think could win the AFC, the Buffalo Bills. Charles and I will be there, and then we got some great matchups on that Sunday as well. Kansas City and Arizona, Raiders and the Chargers, and on Sunday night, Tom Brady, yeah, he's back, and his Bucks are heading to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. 
Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw, being chased out left. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Five yards that time out of the scramble, but now they're looking at a fourth down situation. comes this field general once more leading his offense back on him. They'll look to throw now on first down. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throw over the middle. Going to be caught here by Mo Alley Cox. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Dancing to his left. Gets past one man. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. He'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A great play there. Ready for the regular season with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands. And this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like him. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Now when a quarterback draw option works to perfection for him. Yeah, it's hard to account for the quarterback in most situations on defense, and that's why the quarterback draw is so successful. Everyone else covered, makes a little fake, runs into the end zone. in prime time this offense they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them and brandon i think it's as simple as this some players some teams they're just meant for the big stage and when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly they show up and they show out so that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts are winners as we say so long from Indianapolis.
realist essence I've been serving lessons since the days of my adolescence on the Cypress block young buck holding the like we knew it all not afraid to do it all matter of fact I look back and do it all I could remember the haters say the game will ruin y'all what's that to me don't give up give up about a hater let them let them like the like the in my paper hey, 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 hey. they call me big dog riding with the hillbilly cube on staying with the little really became a boss many years back when I'm gone give me Hold your tears back. We put the bang and bang and produce, 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 produce. You, you, you got no chance of hanging. It took the tails when you're flipping the quarter. We ain't slowing down. We crashing through the border. border, border, border. Give you life advice. 
Get some money, get some money, money, get some money. 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 Get some money.